In this video, I'm going to talk about how I passed my commercial drone pilot test, aka the FAA Part 107 test. This is a test you need to take and pass if you're going to use your drone for commercial purposes. Now, some people say it's a bit unclear of whether you need this or not if, uh, if you make YouTube videos and make money off of YouTube videos. Uh, I did it for that reason, and then also there's some other commercial stuff that I uh, am going to be using my drone for, and so that's why I took the test, and I'm going to talk about how I passed the test, how I studied for it, what resources I used, and stuff like that. I have my little note card here of notes, so um, overall I studied for about 11 to 12 hours over four days, and I'm going to tell you um, the order in which I studied and how long I studied each thing for. So at first I wanted to just kind of ease my way into it and kind of passably absorb as much as I could, so I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. The first one was by Tony Northrup. It's an hour and 43 minutes with breaks and everything to pause and take, a, take notes. It was, let's say, two hours. This is the video that you see a lot of people using. Uh, it's basically one of two videos that people use to, to study for and, and pass the drone test. If you just search on YouTube for FAA drone test study guide or drone test study guide, this will probably be in the first one or two videos that comes up. Basically he goes over the type of information you need to know for the test and uh, answers some, some questions, takes questions uh, from the test and explains why the right answer is the right answer. The exact title to that video is Free Drone Certification Study Guide colon FAA Part 107 SUAS Test. So I did that on one day and then like a couple weeks passed and life got in the way before I was able to watch the second video which was Free FAA Part 107 Drone Test Study Guide Answers and Explanations by Blue Ridge Drone Photography. And this video is 2 hours 25 minutes long. Basically the guy goes over a practice test that has 120, 130 questions. It's on 3dr.com, so it's a, it's a screencast of him uh, on his computer going through each, each of those 100 plus questions and he answers them and tells you why the right answer is the right answer. With pauses to take notes and everything, let's say that that took me three hours to watch. And when I say that I took notes, basically I just wrote down things that I wanted to remember. Um, I didn't take a ton of notes. I took maybe a page of notes uh, by hand. I didn't really review them too much afterward. I figured that writing down, writing them down would help me remember them. On the third day, I downloaded an app to my phone and used that to study. I have an Android phone and the app that I used is called Prepware Remote Pilot. And it was either $4.99 or $5.99 in the Google Play Store. I'm sure there's something similar on iOS. Basically the app has two modes. It has it has study prep mode and then test mode. I spent most of the time in study mode. In study mode there are 334 questions total sorted by category. So the the five categories are regulations, which has 82 questions, national aerospace system, which has 87 questions, weather, which has 67 questions, loading and performance, 28 questions, and operations, 70 questions. So these are basically the, the five categories of questions that you'll, you'll find on the test. I went through all of the questions in each category um, one time, and then I, I noted how long it took me to go through each category, and also the percentage that I got right and wrong. So for example, if I got uh, you know, a 79% on one category and a 92% on another category, that meant that I would I needed to pay more attention to the things in the category where I got the 79%. It took me about two hours total to go through one time uh, to answer all of the questions, all 334 questions, and I did it twice, so I spent about four hours uh, studying the questions. To me, I think that this is probably the most useful thing that I did. Uh, I was just in bed, sitting in bed with my phone, answering the questions. Um, it's It becomes less useful after after a point because, at least for me anyway, I kind of memorized which question was the right one, like like the position, like I knew that the second one was the right one instead of, um, you know, really processing the question and knowing by that 
reasoning and logic which one was the right answer. And then I also took the practice test twice, and I think I was getting... I don't know if I wrote it down, let's see. I think I was getting like in the low to mid 90s on the practice tense, so like 93%, um, 95%, things like that. And then later on that same day, later that night, I went back to the 3DR website where those 120, 130 test questions are, and I went over those test questions. Uh, I realized that I still remembered a lot of the answers from when I watched the guy's video about them, and so I didn't find this to be super useful. I didn't spend a ton of time doing this. Um, I spent probably about an hour going back over those, te those test questions uh, on the website. You could probably skip this step and be just fine. And then the day of the test, uh, let's see, my test was at 11 o'clock. It was, um, this is all still fresh in my mind because this, this was just earlier this week that I passed the test. Um, the test was at 11 o'clock. I got up at like 8 o'clock and spent a um, good one to two hours studying, let's, let's say two hours. What I did was I downloaded the free FAA study guide. It's a PDF. The official title on the PDF on the first page is Remote Pilot Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Study Guide. And so with this study guide, I, I went through it and it's broken down into, into sections and chapters. I spent more time reading the chapters that um, I thought I was, I was a little bit weaker on. For me, that was, um, that was weather, that was decision making and judgment, um, and then risk management. And, and things in that nature. I felt that the, um, the practice tests didn't cover a ton of the risk management and, uh, and decision-making stuff, and that definitely is on the test, so I would focus on, on those sections. And again, this is on the test that I took. It'll be different for everyone. So I spent about two hours going over that the morning of the test, and then, um, yeah, I went and took the test. Uh, you have two hours to take the test. There are 60 questions. Uh, I passed with a 93% and it took me about 35 minutes to take the test. So putting it all together, I spent uh, about 11 to 12 hours over four days. You could certainly do it all in one day if you were, uh, if you were a masochist. Um, I would definitely break it up into at least a couple of days. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not that bad of a test. Like for me, I watched two videos, I downloaded an app, and I downloaded a PDF. You know, it's not really rocket science here, but uh, you need a 70% to pass. I got a 93. I'll put links in the description of this video to all the resources that I mentioned, the videos, the app. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to say is that there is some practice test online that I took. It took me like, I don't know, 20 minutes to take the test. And it was really weird. It had some really weird questions. It had questions about like, runway markings and like runway signs on like a real airport runway there was nothing like that on the test nothing like that in the in the official FAA study guide so if you do happen to stumble across that test and think holy cow where did this stuff come from uh, don't worry about it you don't need to study for it uh, just move on and discard that information and that's it let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching